Good morning, welcome back. It is Saturday. Hope your weekend's off to a good start. So far, so good for us. We went to uh, Noblesville Miller's basketball game last night over in Brownsburg, and wow, it was intense. Noblesville was down by 16 at one point, probably in the third quarter. I don't remember exactly, halftime, third quarter, thereabouts, and ended up coming back to win by four points. Amazing comeback, so good job to those guys. So anyway, you see by the thumbnail and by our title and by a shaky camera that doesn't want to focus, we're going to attempt to rip a 2023 Panini Donruss Blaster Box. We've ripped a few of these along the way. Ripped a lot of fat packs, ripped a couple hobby boxes. So far we've pulled a lot of nice stuff out of these. If you go over... Uh, Danny had a break the other day I was involved with. He uh, ripped two boxes of 2023 Chronicles. Hobby boxes and got some pretty cool. I didn't have the normal Octane luck. Um, a couple people on there had some really good luck. So go check that break out. It was pretty fun. So we have, uh, again, 2023 Blaster Box here. One auto or mem card per box on average. And there we go. We'll do somewhat of a zoom and a scroll. Let everyone see the different print runs and so forth. Unwrap seven blaster exclusive lime green parallels. Some of those look really good. And some of those look really hideous depending on the, you know, the driver's uniform, the paint, car's paint scheme, etc., etc. So I anticipate that we'll get either a auto or a relic. And I'm not seeing a thick card in here anywhere. Typically it's, you know, we're just going to leave them as is and we'll see what happens. Uh, normally the we should get one numbered card, maybe two. We'll get some good inserts and we'll get some expired code cards. These wrappers, always got to brag on Panini. Those always look nice. We're going to start off with Kevin Harvick. Race Kings Jimmy Johnson. He's kind of wanting to stick together a little bit. Martin Truex Jr. We have a Chase Elliott Lime Green Optic Pulsar or something or other. A Race Kings Gray Border Richard Petty. There's our Lime Green Parallel William Byron. That one don't look too bad. I say that green goes good with that blue. Now our retail exclusive Ryan Blaney Under the Lights. DW Optic, and of course the aforementioned expired code card. Feel free to enter that in if they have a place for you to do so, so they can laugh at you and say, uh, you know how to read dates. Go to pack number two. Start off with Daniel Hemmerk. He'll be back in the Cup Series with Colin. Mike Harmon seems to be a legacy driver in the sets, as is Casey Kane. Daniel Suarez at Indianapolis. Gray border, Tony Stewart. Lime green border, Eric Jones. And again, this one goes really, really nice with that green trim on his uniform and matches up good with that blue. Then we have, this going to be a checkerboard, Brad K. I feel like we've pulled this card like four times already. It's a nice looking card. Austin Dillon. So two packs in, we get an Austin Dillon. And that's it. Okay, I thought there was another card there. So after this pack, cross flags will be out. No, it won't. It's seven packs. So we got to get four packs in before uh, this becomes an official rip. Is that another Willie B? No, it's not. It's Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell. We got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Derek Krause. Jimmy Johnson Optic Green Pulsar. So, so far, the two green pulsars have been the drivers that I don't like. Kind of funny how that works, or drivers that historically I haven't liked. Joey Logano, gray border. Austin Cindric, green border. Of course, this green border really doesn't mesh well with the red original border on the top. Power Squad, Richard Petty. And an optic of Cole Custer.
four more packs so we get through this one. Technically, somewhere in the middle of this pack would be halfway. Four cards deep would be halfway, but we'll just call the end of the pack halfway and run with that. Kyle Busch, Race Kings. Haley Deegan, Race Queens. And, of course, they actually corrected it on the back. If you go back to some of the other Race Kings in previous sets where Danica or Brittany Zamora is says Race Queens on the front, then it says Race Kings on the back. There's Jimmy Johnson. Natalie Decker, she announced she's going to be racing in the Xfinity Series race. Uh, who's she driving for? I forget who she's driving. DGM, the uh, 36 car. Ryan Blaney, Gray Border. Terry Labonte, Green Border. And again, this one looks really good because it goes good with the Kellogg scheme. So we've, we've been doing good with these ones so far in here. Then we get a revved up regular Brad K. So we've got, uh, this is the Brad K. Fan Box, and then a silver Tyler Reddick Optic. It's silver. It says Prism on it right there. So kind of the first level of parallel of a the Optics. Looks like we have another green Pulsar in here. Who, who's the green Pulsar going to be? Who's the other... It's kind of funny, uh, Bill Elliott, Jimmy Johnson, and Chase Elliott have been the three drivers in my career that I've really, or my career, my fandom that I've really not cared for that much while they were active. So watch this Green Pulsar, Paul, Green Pulsar be a Bill Elliott, because we've already got a Chase and a Jimmy. Ben Rhodes, two-time truck champ, starts us off. Bubba Wallace, top ten in points last year. Joey Logano, past champ. Nope, it's Kevin Harvick. So I'll take that. I like that. Kyle Weatherman gray border. And a Josh Berry lime green border. Again, this particular border of cards, it just doesn't work well with. Then we have a Richard Petty. This is going to be the checkerboard, right? Very nice. So we get the Richard Petty checkerboard power squad. And a Brad K. Race Kings optic. So we're getting our fill of Brad K in this box. Let's see here, down to our final couple of packs. Not sure if our auto is going to be tucked in here or where it's going to be at. So there's Myatt Snyder. So I see the auto. It looks like it's turned around right there maybe. Nope, it's not. Yep, it is. I've done exposed it, so we'll just keep going. Race Kings Brad K. Josh Berry, Corey LaJoy. So there's there's our auto. Very nice. What's that say? Signature Series. It is a sticker auto. Not numbered. And I don't think I've got a, a, a Corey LaJoy that I've ever pulled from an auto in a pack. Clint Boyer, gray border. Tyler Reddick, green border. Lime green. Power Squad, Tony Stewart. And MTJ Optic, and then our final pack. Strange that we didn't get a numbered card, or at least I haven't seen one. I'm going to go back and double check a couple of these to make sure that we haven't got a numbered card yet. Daryl Waltrip, Chase Briscoe. Paul Menard, another legacy driver. Ty Dillon, Green Pulsar. MTJ, Gray Border. Jeremy Clements, Green Border. Then we have the Kevin Harvick. Is that Metal Masters? And then we end with Daniel Hemrick. So I easily think Corey LaJoy Auto is card of the day. I'd say that Richard Petty Power Squad checkerboard would be runner-up if I was going to pick a runner-up. But this was a pretty solid blaster box, in my opinion, based on the cards that we were able to get out of this. But uh, there you go. Corey LaJoy, auto. I will take that. Once that say signature series, that's kind of hard to read with those open block letters. But Corey LaJoy, and I'm going to 
thumb through a couple of these real quick to make sure that I didn't over oh, there's a <laughs> little magnetic strip that I didn't catch on the first go around. So this stacks all lime greens and gray borders. We may not have got a numbered card. There is no guarantee that you'll get anything really in these. But Power Squad, that is a really nice looking card. Don't mean to keep you guys waiting. But I just want to double check. I know I know you all will let me know if I missed it, which I always appreciate because it makes me know that I need to be a little bit more observant about things well nonetheless i don't see anything that's standing out so anyway thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed the video make sure you come back tomorrow not sure what we're going to rip tomorrow or what we're going to have but we'll have something for you as always thanks again and uh, enjoy the rest of your saturday we'll see you tomorrow